everyone, it's Skylar. Welcome back to the channel. How are you all doing? I hope you're doing very well. Final, final review of the night. Um, I'm in a lot of pain, but I want to get through this. Um, we are doing the 2014 remake of The Town That Dreaded Sundown. Um, so yes, we are doing the remake to this. Um, of course, you know who recommended me this. Yes, it was Rainy Night Gamer, aka my boyfriend Luis. So, yeah, this is his pick. So, yeah, so I am excited to watch this. Uh, like, I think I, yeah, I have seen the original, the original, but I want to see the remake so yeah so yeah so I'm excited for this so as always halfway through you will get to see what I'm watching and then we will do the review as always so yeah this is Rainy Night Game this pick the Town That Dreaded Sundown remake from 2014 so let's do this let's do this wow I am impressed because for someone that saw the original only and not seen the remake I am actually pleasantly surprised so So now I'm going to get back to watching this and then I'm going to tell you my thoughts because I am loving this. This is epic. See you for my review at the end. Ciao, ciao. Wow. I'm just going to say something first before I start this review. Um, and it puts in the case with this. Do you know where I hate watching remakes? Uh, I'm wrong. I actually prefer this remake to the original. So yeah, um, so basically this is based off the 1976 movie titled the same name. So basically it's set in 2013 on Halloween in the city of Tex Tex Texana Texana basically it's Texas and Arkansas put together and basically there's a local driving theater and they are they've basically put on the 1976 version the town that dreaded sundown sundown based on the true story of the phantom killer who basically murdered several people in Texana in 1946. Corey Holland and Jamie Lerner leave to talk and kiss, but the Phantom kills Corey and tells Jamie. Um, by the way, I'm doing all this for Mary and I just want everybody to know about it. So then two days before like Thanksgiving Eve, it like fast forwards, um, Basically, a girl called Kendra goes and meets a boyfriend who's called Daniel at the airport. Um, obviously, they have sex in the motel and basically, the phantom kills them. <sighs> then the phantom calls Jamie on Corey's phone 
telling her I will do it again and again and again until you make sure everybody knows what's going on. Obviously, Jamie then tells the cops, this Deputy Foster, um, obviously she's helped into finding out what's going on with these killings by a guy called Nick. Um, then a Texas Ranger called Lone Wolf Morales takes over the investigation and after that Jamie receives an email from the Phantom and takes it to the police. Nick then asks Jamie to say something for the Phantom vi victims. After that there's a suicidal teenager that shows up dressed as the Phantom and is killed. Causing the townspeople to believe the Phantom is actually dead finally. But the band members, Joey and Roy, they go to this junkyard and uh, basically experiment things together. Then the Phantom comes out of nowhere and they attack the two lads. The Phantom recreates the trombone weapon from the original film. Um, where Johnny shot to death and Johnny is shot to death and Roy is stabbed. Um, then after that, um, the two of, two police officers meet up with the Reverend and they talk with him pi privately and they find out that it was him that sent Jamie the email. Um, but he said, but we don't think that you are the Phantom. Um, and then Jamie finds out that um, Charles' son is still alive and he lives in Texana. Um, then it goes forward to Christmas Eve. Um, Tillman and another date are, which is the police officer. Um, they're actually killed by the Phantom on the farm. And you see the girlfriend struck up, like, arms out the side, like a cross, which I love that scene in the movie, that kill. It's like a sort of kill, but it's not a kill. And it's, like, strung up like a, st a scarecrow. Um, then Jamie and Nick visit Charles Pierce Jr. and learn about Hank McCready. The sixth vid victim of the original Phantom. But no one told his story. So they believed the new Phantom is something to do with McCready's family. As the family were like really, really angry because McCready's death was not remembered. McCready had a wife called Mary. Now remember what happened at the beginning of the film. Where the Phantom told Jamie about someone called Mary. Um, Lily and Jamie's grandmother find out that Jamie was accepted into the college in California. And they want to move there. So obviously Jamie can go to the school. Jamie obviously tells Nick she's leaving. And they obviously have sex. Unfortunately, Nick got killed by the Phantom. Um, and then while leaving town, Jamie pulls in the gas station. And then the Phantom just goes on this spray, killing people outside. And then um, Lillian, which is Jamie's grandfather, grandma. Then Jamie runs into the station and finds Nick's body, who was decapitated and left on the tracks. Um, she's shot down by arrows but is confronted. There's a twist. She's been confronted by by something. I'm telling you what, that I'm gonna leave that as the twist. Um And then all I'll say is at the end, Jamie leaves Texana, moves on with her life. Um, and then there's another twist. I'm 
I'm leaving it open. I'm not telling you what else happens. So my thoughts to this, um, to this, I've just said at the beginning, I prefer this to the re to the original, and I hate remakes, but this is the better movie of the two. I love this, love the kills, love the premise, like the backstory that you have to drive in theatre so that you could watch the 1976 version, um, and a whole lot more. I for I watched this. I just couldn't put this down. Could not put this down. Um, would I watch this again? Heck yes. Heck yes. Uh. Now my rating. Oh boy. <laughs> I think I'm gonna do it again. I. This was my favorite movie that I reviewed this week. I'm gonna go for it again. It's a ten for me. I know you're gonna go hating on me. Why are you go? Why are you picking Rainy's Rainy's recommendations at ten? Like ten out of ten. It's because I couldn't stop watching this movie. I was glued on. I was hooked on the story, hook, line, and sinker. And I will say this: every movie he's recommended to me, he has knocked it out the park. Um, and I will say this as well, he is very, very reliant on recommendations and every recommendation he has recommended me um, is second to none. So this, fifth number 10 of the year, love this. Um, brilliant, absolutely brilliant, highly recommended and I'd watch it again. And as I said, I love movies that are also based on true stories which this is it and this is one of the movies that i really like so thank you my love this was awesome loved it highly recommended and i'm not saying oh it's a 10 because he's recommended me i'm i'm telling you this is a 10 because i prefer this than the original i love movies based on true stories i was glued at my seat I wanted. I was really wanting to know who the killer was. I loved the twist at the end. Who the killer was, and I loved the actual bit at the end as well. That's why I could. I didn't want to. I just wanted to leave it so that you guys could see it for yourselves. So yeah, thank you, my love, for recommending me this. This was brilliant. So yeah, this was. Rainy Night Gamers recommendation to me the remake of The Town That Dreaded Sundown from 2014 directed by Alfonso Gomez Rijon Rijon and yeah um, I hope you enjoyed my review uh, like, comment, subscribe all that jazz, turn that notification bell on you'll get a brand new video from me very very soon so stay glory, have unpleasant dreams and I will see you all soon Thank you, my love. This was amazing. Bye.